you will get Shenghe's specialty hard string noodles when cooking using her. The ingredients in game are flour, pho, mushroom, and ham. So we will surely use this. In the description, it said the noodles are as slender as the hairs on a dragon's beard, and the green onion needs to be fried in a wok before adding the soup and condiments. By looking at the picture, I immediately thought of chicken and shiitake mushroom noodle soup, which is a very classic combination for noodles in China. For the hard string noodles, it's said to be great impressive, and you should be able to feel Shenghe's dedication and heart in it. Looking at the picture, there are lots of decorations. I would use carrot mush for the orange heart, green soybeans for the green balls. Fried chicken with green soybean is also a classic combination. Then, since we will use chicken, we definitely will go with chicken soup for the base. Okay, we figured all the ingredients. Now it's time to make it. Firstly, let's deal with the chicken breast. It will take the longest. I'm gonna use a new skill I saw recently to cook the chicken breast. It should make it very tender and it's easy to do. Cook a pot of water, add scallion, ginger, and cooking wine to kill the gamey smell. When heating up the water, we could manage the chicken. My chicken breast looks a little different than Yura, so let me cut it to normal shape first. With its normal form, cut open, flatten it, and it will be this hard shape naturally. Cut off the excess to make it more presentable. At first, I thought it was my genius idea to cut a heart shape like this, but I then found out many people already did so. So, wow, great minds think alike. <laughs> when the water is boiling, add the meat, cover the pot, and turn off the heat. Let it simmer for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, open it, use a chopstick or a fork, poke the meat. If no bloody water comes out, it means it's cooked through. And yes, it worked, and the shape was well kept. It's actually a very healthy and easy method. When cooking the chicken, we could prepare the other ingredients. Basically, just boil the water and blanch everything. I cut and cook the carrot first because it will take longer to be soft enough to be smushed. After 15 minutes, take the carrot out and save the water for noodles later. Add some salt and pepper, smush the carrot. No, I can't. No problem, we have a better tool. Use the food processor to chop it fine. And it looks like raw. Fancy. Now time for the rest of the ingredients. Bring a pot of chicken soup to boil. It mentioned fried green onions ahead of everything else in the description of the meal, but I forgot. It should be done by now. Then we clean the shiitake mushroom, wash it clean, cut the bottom dirt, cut short of the stem to the level of the top, then slice it. It will look exactly like the picture. Blanch the beans and mushroom in the chicken soup. I thought it might add more flavors to the soup. Then season the soup if needed. Mine has already been salted and seasoned, so I skipped the seasoning part. Don't forget to cut some ham slice for decoration. For noodles, I'm not going to make it from flour. There are plenty of choices in the market. I remember my mom bought the dragon beard noodles, which has the exact same name in China when I was young, but I can't find it here. While the dragon beard noodle could be understood as very, very thin noodles, it's a variety of noodles in northern China. It has 300 years history. It is developed from pudding noodles from Shandong province. So I just to pick the thinnest noodle I found, I love eating slender noodles, so my sense tells me it should be good. Cook in boiling water for 3 minutes, and it's better to rinse it in cold water after then, but I forgot, so the noodles became a bit sticky together. Alright, we manage all the ingredients, time to assemble. This hard string noodle is done. The plating took equal time as cooking. So 
Do you feel Shenhe's dedication from it? So I'm about to start. Where should I start? So the most special part of the meal is, is using the very thin noodles because it is so slender, so it tastes very soft. And shiitake mushroom and chicken is actually a very classic combination in Chinese cooking. When they work together, they will stimulate each other's smells even more, especially using this way to cook uh, without any heavy sauce. And you will be able to taste the original flavor of every ingredient. And I think there's one more thing that I could upgrade this meal is I prefer to put more hands and more uh, shiitake mushroom and more beans inside so it could create more distinct layers for this meal. So it could bring more variety of the taste and the texture. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you made this dish according to my recipe or <laughs> If there are any recipe from any game that you want me to try to make, please comment below. Maybe I will try to make it. Um, and thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon in my future videos. Bye. <laughs>